I, I, I know nothing about the game other than the fact that it starts off really cute. It ends off, ends very not cute. Um, so that's, that's the extent of what I know. Um, and I'm kind of, I'm kind of excited about this. I don't know if it's like actually like horror or if it's just like weird or through, I don't know. And I think it's time that we played some Doki Doki Literature Club and see these cute, how do you do it? Cute, I don't, I'm not cute little anime girl. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> You are at least 13 years of age and you consent to your exposure of highly disturbing content. Yes, okay, so, so, so trigger warnings. Apparently for legitimately, this is, a, this is a horror game. This is not a, this is, this is just, just, this is not just an uwu game. This is a horror game. So just be mindful of that as you're watching. But here we go. We're gonna play the Doki Doki Literature Club because it looks adorable. <laughs> Oof, and I can't stress this enough. Woo. <laughs> I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on. God, I am kind of judgmental, oh my God. So I really like to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on, on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. That does sound like me actually. And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. What the fuck is a neat? Is that a word that I am not cool enough to understand or I'm not young enough to understand? This is true. I am an angel who has never done anything wrong or implied anything less than angelic things in my entire life. That's a fact factual statement. Thank you, Steak. Yes. Mm -hmm. Why do you care so much? Why am I so mean? And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. Okay, that's even more. You've, you've bribed me with food. How can I not go? Told you, don't call me a new mep. Seriously, I'm such a bitch. Jesus. She's so pretty. Look at this fucking hair. And those eyes. I like purple, okay? She's so pretty. Seriously, you brought a boy? Am I a boy? Don't say things like, oh my god. She reminds me of Komi. She's so pretty. I can't. So we talks that her mouthful and has already managed to get icing on her face. Okay, to be fair, if you don't get icing on your face while you're eating a cupcake, you really didn't eat a cupcake. Like you, there was not enough icing on that cupcake. I, I have very strong opinions about the amount of icing that should be on cupcakes and it is as much as possible. Yuri's just trying to impress you. That's adorable. Oh, she's so cute. Oh my God, she's got like emerald eyes. I can't. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. That's okay, show up for the cupcakes, my guy. Did I just get insulted for only reading manga? Listen, listen, and I truly 100% stand by this, but reading graphic novels, reading comic books, listening to audiobooks, it all counts as reading, okay? You read whatever it is that you like, so long as you're reading in whatever form or fashion, it counts as reading. For someone as gentle as you, yo, the quiet ones? I'm not cute. But she is cute. I never said I would join this club. Okay, sir, why are you being such a dick? You have four pretty girls in front of you who, who at least one of them is into you. So I need you to chill the fuck out here. Also, there are cupcakes, man. Come on. I think Yuri is my favorite. I think Yuri is my favorite. So we're going to write a horror poem, I guess. I am literally only here for the pretty girls and the cupcakes. If you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Is she threatening me? You almost set your house on fire once. Ma'am, what? How come you and Raven could become good friends too? Oh my God, don't, ma'am. I really don't need to think you worry. I think that just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. Bro, you are killing this. Like she's afraid that she'll do something wrong. I think she wants my bookmark. Ayo. Mm. <laughs> At least makes me feel a little bit better about myself. Sir, do not wreck your best friend. See, do not wreck your best friend. Jesus Christ. Raven, if you're not gonna take this club seriously, then go home. You know, I said Yuri has obliterated me. Natsuki has, has, has obliterated me again. Fine, well, sorry. You'll get better anyway. <laughs> That's so rude. That's what it means to be a pro. She's adorable. Look at her little vampire teeth. I'm obsessed. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things that we can do better, I'm always listening. She is such a good class president. Like, I really like her. I really like, 
Like I want to be in a club that she's running, which I guess kind of technically I am, but like I personally would love to like be in a literature club run by her. I feel like it's very effective. I guess I underestimated you. Next time you will estimate me. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. Is that a AO? Are we gonna like make our rounds for this group? Sir, please don't do that. Don't ruin relationships like that. Too short? I usually write longer poems, oh my God, about like the end of worlds probably. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest, since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more my, yeah, okay. So her other poems are gonna be really fucked up. I'm gonna keep doing my best for you, Raven. She's so precious. She's so pre, I'm just, this hair is fucking gorgeous. I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Raven started showing up. Oh my God. If only I could get the chance to talk to her a little more. No, sir, we are crushing on Yuri and Yuri only, sir. You don't, you don't hate them, do you? No, I'm definitely in love with both, with every, all, all four of you, it's fine. I guess there's a little devil inside all of us, isn't there? That feels like a hint for later to come. Something smacks in Sayori in the face and tumbles onto the desk? A cookie? It's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Sayori glances around. Is this, is this a miracle? It's finally happening! Ah, I might as well walk with you. We are, we are smitten. What's wrong with me? It's cause all three of y'all have the hots for me. What can I say? What kind of friend would do that? Friend with more though? You're always worrying about me, Raven. Am I? I've known you for three days. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Oh my God, sitting on the floor, reading a book with tea? Yes, please, God, absolutely. Can I do that in real life, please? Like right now? That's, that's okay, I won't take any because you shouldn't be eating things that can melt on your fingers while reading a book. I won't take this kind of sacrilege. Look at her. Look at her. I'm about to feed chocolate to this girl. Tell me you're not about to feed chocolate to this girl. And I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if this, this situation was completely natural, but that means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Ugh. <laughs> I can't, I can't. Look at the little mini chocolate. Look at it. That's something that, fr I don't think, I don't think feeding chocolate to each other is what friends do. I, or at least I haven't had the right kind of friends. Take the chocolate and put it, <laughs> put it into her mouth. <laughs> I feel her hot breath on my fingers. Okay, everyone. Thank God, Monica. <laughs> Raven, you can help Yuri put away the tea stuff. Yes. I can do more than that though. <laughs> Don't bother trying to write poems like this until you're on Yuri's level. She's so mean. She's so mean to me. That's unexpectedly poetic. Bro, you are in a literature club writing poems. Shut the fuck up. You must be pretty into her. I can't tell if she's jealous or like, like, aw, like mother type stuff. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. Okay. Go with a picture of these pretty high school students. Please remember that they're high school students. After image of a crimson eye does sound like an MCR song. You are absolutely correct, yes. Also potentially a panic at the disco song. It's, 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 it's long enough, I think. This legitimately is a full on masterclass on like writing and now performing poetry. This is great. Might as well let Raven lower everyone's standards a little before I have to do it. God, destroying me. And impressing Monica. Why are we gonna try to impress Monica? Monica has not been our, our primary goal, my guy. Oh, I'm accidentally impressing Monica. Do I accidentally like Monica? No, <laughs> we're impressing the wrong girl. Jeez, you worry too much about me. Girl, are you okay? Are you okay? I don't think she's okay. Oh no. All four of y'all can't get the hots for me. This is not gonna be, I, I can't. Into my eyes. I mean, who wouldn't fall in love with these eyes? Ah! 
reading that edgy novel with her what the fuck am i supposed to do in literature club when we have free time okay monica is best girl because she cares so deeply about all of them she has warned me about sayori and now yuri don't worry about it humans are two-dimensional creatures i think you know that better than anyone you mean one dimensional oh yeah that all right let's do natsuki no thanks this girl said no thank you oh <laughs> You're really the example I was chasing after. Not just the example, am I right? I know I'm a difficult person. No, you're perfect. Shut the fuck up. I speak too slowly. You're perfect. I second guess myself all the time. Still perfect. I read too deeply into things. Again, so perfect. But every time, you've always treated me just like anyone else because you're perfect. It's fine. Bro, she likes you so much. Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. I realize I don't have any way of contacting you this weekend. Girl, you asking for my digits? <laughs> but if you don't mind, girl, what kind of dark secrets you got at that place? I think I would prefer going to your house. She looked straight into my eyes for a long while. Right there. There's no telling what might ha end up happening while we're outside of school. Wink, wink. Pump, pump. <laughs> um... We haven't gotten to any like actual horror stuff yet. We've gotten some like little hints here and there, but no actual horror stuff yet. 